Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. TCS has started conducting NQT in some colleges for 2026 batch on campus. So, if you are preparing for TCS, start from now onwards so that you can ace your exam. So, today we are going to discuss the coding question asked by TCS. If you need TCS preparation video, comment below so that we can make it for you. Let's start the video. Uh, this is a question. Uh, that is asked by TCS in a NQT 15th March in a second shift and the problem statement that is given by them is this one you are given an array containing n integers where only one element is unique that means in the entire array uh, there is only one element that is occurred only once and all other elements has occurred twice we need to find and return that unique element for example they have given the sample in like array equal to 5 comma 3 comma 2 comma 3 comma 2 comma 3 comma 2 uh, this is array that is given by them uh, 3 has occurred twice 2 has occurred twice only 5 has occurred only once so here we need to return this 5 as output so how can we do that uh, i will give you uh, 10 seconds of time so that you can think of this problem statement and you will be able to find the data structure that will be suitable to solve this problem statement and your time starts now so i think uh, you have found that data structure that is suitable for uh, solving this problem yes the data structure that is being used is hash map or dictionary is suitable for solving this problem why i am saying is like we need to find that unique element like all the elements has occurred twice only one element has occurred one time so we can use hash map in any of the languages so here we need to traverse through the entire array for example in the first traversal we are having five uh we need to add this phi to the dictionary and we need to increment the value by one so phi is not already present in the dictionary so we need to set the value of phi by one initially in the second traversal we are having three three is not present in the dictionary already so we need to add this three and we need to set the value of three by one initially in the third traversal we are having two Two is not already present in the dictionary so we need to add this two by in the dictionary and we need to set the value of two by one fourth traversal we are having three three is already present in the dictionary so we need to increment the value of three by one now fifth traversal we are having two two is already present in the dictionary so we need to increment the value of two by one so finally in the dictionary we look like 5 colon 1 3 colon 2 2 colon 2 like in this dictionary we will be interpreting like 3 has occurred twice 2 has occurred twice only 5 has the value of 1 so 5 has occurred only once so we need to return that 5 so this is the concept behind uh, using hash map so we can go with the pseudo code uh, this is the pseudo code for this problem if you understand the pseudo code, uh, you can code in any of the languages. Since TCS allows C, C, Java, or Python, you can code in any of the languages as you preferred. For example, and also for sample, uh, I have used Python in this video. Since many of us have preference to Python only, since it is a simple language, so only I have chosen python for this language for this video if you are interested in any of the languages uh, you can also understand the pseudo code and you will be able to know the basic logic uh, behind the program and you can solve of your own uh, let's start solving the pseudo code understanding first find unique of error we need to find that uh, unique element this is a function uh, that is being called first error error will be holding the value of the array of elements 
we need to first create the empty dictionary thirdly for each element x in arr we need to traverse to the arr if x exist in frequency like the traversed element if exist in the frequency dictionary we need to increment the value of the existing element that means the x by 1 if t is not present already in the dictionary we need to add that element and we need to set the value of that element by 1 so till then uh, we have created the dictionary after creating the dictionary we need to find that unique element using this step we will be finding that unique element for each element x in arr like we need to traverse to arr if frequency of x i can say with the example also like if frequency of x in x means uh, wait a minute x in the first traversal it will be occurring phi so here x will be phi so frequency of phi here frequency of phi uh, this is a dictionary uh, that has been created after performing this step the frequency dictionary will look like this only 5 colon 1 3 colon 2 2 colon 2 only it is not 3 it is 2 uh, this is mistakenly tight so you can use this like 2 colon 2 only so here uh, the frequency of phi is 1 so 1 equal to equal to 1 so it is the condition is true so we need to return x so x will be phi so the value of x is phi so we need to return phi and the answer is uh, the unique element that is present in the array is phi so we will be coming to know the output based on the pseudo code first understand the pseudo code and uh, make the logic better and you can solve in any of the programming languages uh, this is a python code like uh, we are having the function body like find unique of error this is a function that we need to call to find the unique element present in the array so error equal to 5 3 2 3 2 this is the array of elements we need to print find of unique error we need we are making a function call like find unique of error we are passing error to find unique error here find unique of error will be replaced with uh, this array so it will become find unique of 5 comma 3 comma 2 comma 3 comma 2 here uh, in the first step uh, we are creating the empty dictionary like frequency equal to curly brackets it will be indicating the empty dictionary for num in arr we need to traverse through arr in a first traversal uh, num will be phi phi in frequency uh, in a frequency we need to check for phi uh, so phi is not present in the frequency so we need to go with the else part so frequency of phi equal to 1 so this is a dictionary this is a dictionary after the first traversal phi colon 1 afterwards num in error and a second traversal we will be having 3 so 3 in frequency 3 is not in a frequency so we need to uh, add 3 in a frequency and we need to set the value as 1 so in a sec after second traversal it will become 5 colon 1 3 colon 1 like that for num in ER, in a third traversal it will be 2 2 in frequency 2 is not in a frequency currently so we need to add the 2 to the frequency and we need to set the value of 2 by 1 so currently dictionary will look like 5 colon 1 3 colon 1 2 colon 1 like that in a fourth traversal we are having 3 if 3 in frequency yes 3 is present in the frequency so we need to increment the value of 3 by 1 currently the value of 3 is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so it will become 2 
currently the dictionary will look like 5 colon 1 3 colon 2 and 2 colon 1 only last and final traversal we are having 2 so 2 in frequency yes 2 is present in the frequency so we need to increment the value of 2 by 1 so it will become 2 uh, lastly after all the traversals the frequency dictionary will look like this only 5 colon 1 3 colon 2 2 colon 2 so the dictionary has been successfully created based on the array of elements based on this only we need to find that unique element that means 5 colon 1 for num in ERR for num in ERR we need to traverse once again ERR if frequency of num frequency of 5 equal to equal to 1 yes here so the condition is true so we need to return that num here num is 5 so we need to return that 5 so we have got the output successfully uh, you can also take any of the inputs and you can also test for any of the inputs and you can also dry run the program so that you can also better understand and also code efficiently while solving in the program so first practice it in a pen and paper and start solving uh, this program in your preferred language that's all for this video if you like this video please give the like button and uh, comment your doubts regarding placements and also any of the companies you can comment your doubts below and our team will play to you and uh, share this video to your friends so that they can also get benefited if you need any kind of series in future also uh, you can comment uh, what are the placement preparation videos that you are uh, more caring for so that we can make the video for you and uh, that's all for this video and goodbye guys have a nice day